we took a trip to the taiga, the conifer forest. You can get to the taiga if you get up to northern latitudes or if you go up the side of a tall mountain, which is what we did. We got to King's Canyon in the Sierras, which is about six to 7,000 feet high. Here we can see a pine tree, which is typical in the taiga, and its lower branches are dying off. Why do you think its lower branches die while its upper branches live? Besides pine trees and redwoods, there are other gymnosperms in the taiga. This is a giant sequoia. They're truly monstrous trees. Way down at the bottom is Dr. Dugas. So here's a giant sequoia compared to some of the pine trees that are around it. Giant sequoias are very resistant to fire. So this is a burnt sequoia that's still alive. What happens if a sequoia gets too burnt? How burnt is too burnt? Can it replace its bark or does it just live with the burnt bark forever? Supposedly there are 11 species of different kinds of conifers in Kings Canyon, but I'm not particularly good at telling them apart, so I don't know. While we were there, we got snowed on, which is not unusual at all in the taiga. It's a pretty snowy place for a lot of the year. What kinds of adaptations do these conifers have for snow? And here we hike two and a half miles to see Panoramic Point. You can see it's not so much of a great view.